I'm doing the cutout for this dash here. And I wanted to make a quick note. Every electronic board out there is a little different in depth, how deep they are. The electronic boards, they're stacked. Some of them are stacked high, some are short, some are real small. So that's gonna, that's gonna be different on how you mount this. So some electronic boards are gonna be stacked so thick that you're gonna have to cut this um, entry back real far. I mean the opening. So what I did is I, I'm just cutting out a, a basic cutout here for you. Basic. So you're going to have to go back and, and probably cut it out farther depending on the boards that you get. And like I said, everyone's different. Uh, you can see you have a good, with my, my dash here, the two tube dash, you have a good, I think, two inches of play there. So you can cut it all the way back up to this lip right here. About a you know, quarter inch from this lip right here. Okay. So don't feel bad if you get your boards and then you try to put it in your dash and they're hitting the, the dash. All you have to do is cut this back, trim it back. Just make a straight line, you know, to where the board's at. Put your boards in there. And you can cut it back over here a good two inches, maybe even two and a half inches on this side as well. And same in here, you got a good probably inch and three quarters here to cut it back up to this line here. And here you got about, about an inch, okay? I'm not going to cut out the TV area or the PMP button area. I'll cut out just these boards here and I'll leave this as is. I cut out your speakers, your defrosters. So that's all cut out. And um, yeah, that's the quick note that I want to say. I'm going to continue uh, sanding this and getting the seam line all nice and uh, smoothed over some filler. Uh, right here I have put filler on the seam line and I'm just going to smooth it over with some sanding paper right now. Alright, here's the openings done. You see? And I'm just uh, doing the last bit of filler work on my uh, seam line here. See the seam line goes all the way through here. Goes this way. And then down here. And then up to the top. Any little imperfections I'm just smoothing out some platinum plus filler I'm marking with tape any spots that have a little, little low spot primer will probably fill it in but I don't want to take chances so wherever there's a little piece of tape I gotta go and hit it up again with a little little bit more filler speakers are cut out frosters are cut out everything's smooth over on top any little imperfections I found or sand it out. Put a nice little bit of filler here to smooth this nice seam line out right here because the seam line goes runs to the top of the dash, down here, and all the way across to the other side. Runs this way and down that way. I wish I could make a dash without a seam line in it. That'd be ideal, but that'd be impossible to pop. You have to have seam lines for your you need several pieces to the mold like two or three or four pieces to a dash mold actually it's like uh, the minimum you need is three or four actually I believe my mold is uh shit I don't even remember let's check see how many seams I got in it where's my two TV dash right here so two TV dash is actually two pieces don't know how I got away with two pieces on it but I did and my one TV dash is three pieces so yeah you got to have a seam line in it like I said I wish I could mold a dash perfectly but unfortunately because of all the curves and all the ins and outs you'll never be able to pop it you got to be able to unscrew it and detach it from the mold yeah this thing's almost ready for primer So all you got to do when you get it is you got to cut out this area for your voice box. Cut out your little areas here. If you got one of those built, pre-built ones, you could probably just cut out this whole area and just put it in there. Install your own TVs. They make a lot of different bezels for this that you can actually 
epoxy in place and you can probably cut this out if you don't want to use this TV area if you want the more authentic look and PMP buttons go here you can actually kind of see where they go but I don't cut it out because people always use different buttons <coughs> so yeah that's it in a nutshell again almost ready for the primer Uh, first coat It's a tack coat All right second coat of primer I'm gonna put one more It's looking good right there on the second coat Alright, just did the third coat. Came out pretty nice. Just keep in mind this is not painted. This is primer. I know it looks black, it looks paint, but it's just primer. You still have to sand it with 320, 400 grit sandpaper before you uh, apply your paint. Or else it won't adhere good if you don't sand it. Make sure you sand it. Can't stress that enough. Also, if you see little bubbles, like little high spots there, this is a little a dab of uh, primer that I put on there so when you sand it will come right off all right that's ready to ship uh, let it dry for a couple more days because I did glass inside there a little bit and it's still a little bit not dry so I want that glass to dry where I put some more reinforcement there and a couple other spots so probably be able to ship this what's today Probably on Monday. I think today's Thursday. I don't want to ship it tomorrow. I might ship it Saturday, if not Monday. All right. And that's it for that two TV dash. I got to continue on this one TV dash, and I'm going to be building Dale's bumper next. All right, Dale. I'm about to work on your bumper. I got everything cut out. Um, this is the first uh, layer I'm going to be doing. Um, hopefully, it comes out good, man. All right, Dale, just finished up your bumper, man. There it is, in the mold. All right. So I'll let it uh, cure and uh, pop it Monday and probably ship it Monday, or maybe I'll pop it Sunday so I can ship it Monday. Same with this dash here, going to another customer. Uh, have that probably ship Monday. That's been primer for him. And finished. Looks like it's dry already. Yeah. Two, two TV dash ready to ship Monday. Bumper will be shipping Monday mo most likely. And I'll try to work on this over the weekend as well. This one TV dash and have that shipped out with these as well. This is Jacob. NightRiderShop.com. Catch you on the next video.